Welcome back to Arizona Home Tours. Today we're at Hawes Crossing from Taylor Morrison in Mesa, Arizona. And we're going to be checking out the Edmonton model home. Now, this home is a little over 1,800 square feet. Single story home. You can get it in two, the four bedrooms, two bathrooms, two car garage. So when you walk in, you kind of split to go into like the kitchen or into the living area. We're going to hook left. So, button hook around. You have your dining right here at the front of the home. Let that lighting adjust here. There we go. I'm looking out. So at first, when I first saw this one, I was like, eh, it seems kind of small, but I really love the way they've designed this kitchen. And what I really love about it though, is the cabinetry. So not a color I would choose, but seeing it in person, and especially the way it works with the countertop, backsplash, and the hardware, it really does look nice together. You have your gas six burner oven and range. And this is the model home. Now the base price of this home is $519 for the cheapest elevation, and that is the Spanish. So that's what they're gonna be using for their pantry. Nice peninsula here. Nice deep sink. So looking out. And all these pendant lightings. So this is the model home. Again, just wanna make sure I clear there. So a lot of these things are gonna be upgrades. Um, like I'm assuming pendant lighting like this is not gonna be a standard feature. That's something you're gonna to have to add on. And same with like appliances. Most builders have appliance packages. So if you want a certain cooktop that's probably going to change the refrigerator and dishwasher that is if you're getting appliances into your living area we'll look back out here at your dining kitchen but beautiful lighting here good ceiling height overall it doesn't and not the 1800 square feet is small but considering some of the other homes we've seen from Taylor Morrison, especially out here at Hawes Crossing, you would think it would be a little bit tighter, but I think the fact that it's a single story and the flow and just kind of the floor plan, it works well. And you have storage, whatever we're gonna use that for, right? Before we head into the primary bedroom, and excuse me about the music being piped through, Sometimes that's why I'll do voiceovers after the fact, but I'll be honest, that's just more work for me sometimes. And sometimes I just don't feel like it. Sometimes it's hard enough just to find time to go tour these homes. And I try to get one a, one a day. Uh, it doesn't always happen. But like I said, if there's ever communities, neighborhoods, styles, floor plans you want to see, um, please let me know. It makes it a lot easier for me to go tour places that people are interested in, um, whether it be Cave Creek, Scottsdale Fountain Hills, Gilbert, Santan, Goodyear. So I work the entire valley, but I don't work like Tucson or that area. That's not my market. Not uh, I don't have deep knowledge there where I could really represent my clients in the best way. So let's gonna keep working our way backward. Then we're gonna head outside. When we come into this side of the home, nice office space. So this would be great. Well, at least and I say for me, I don't know if it would be great for you, but it'd be nice to have this right here. I'm sure the kids would turn it into their playroom. And I'm not sure if this is an option where you turn this into a bedroom or not, but I imagine after the fact, after you bought the home, you could wall this off and turn it into maybe just a guest bedroom with a little half closet. But if you needed that space, at least it's there. We have this bedroom right adjacent. There is a dresser in there, so you know it's not super tiny. And just a typical closet with a, a shelf. Your 
here's your bathroom. Similar or same cabinetry that we saw in the kitchen. Dark hardware. And then your fiberglass surround with or the same with the dark hardware. So we're gonna head and check this one out and then we're gonna go outside. So here's your other bedroom. And you have your closet. But if you notice a smaller dresser over here. So just kind of give you an idea. Well, there's no drawers on that. But it's not a very big dresser, which means the bedroom's probably 10 by 10, give or take. And you have your laundry right off here and then into the garage. But let's go outside and I'll show you what that looks like. Now this one is a little bit deeper than most. Now they do have certain lots whether it be an upgrade on or a premium. So as that sign says, typical lot depth ends here. But even with that, it's still a good sized lot. You still have your covered patio area, RV or your uh, access gate to the side. So let me know what did you think of this home. If you want some more info, just send me an email or give me a call or text. It's Rich Brecklin with Real Broker. This is Arizona Home Tours. I'll see you on the next tour.